Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yeah, it's great to uh, it's great to be back here performing for all of you. I was last year in May, and uh, I'm excited to. It feels like yesterday I was here. Um, so I'm really excited to present this program to all of you. It, it it has music featured from one of my favorite sort of periods of music, uh, the late Romantic into the 20th century. I just I just love that style. The Debussy's, the Ravel's, Florence Price's, etc. So, uh, so what you just heard just now is uh, one uh, by uh, one of the most important female African American composers, Florence Price. Now, uh, I know that nowadays her music has been getting a lot of uh, a lot of airplay and and a lot of uh, playing amongst pianists and not only pianists but uh, but also orchestral musicians, etc. Um, so, uh, thanks to pianists like uh, just to name a couple, Michelle Khan or uh, Laura Downs, and uh, you know, I hope to, to, uh, to play more of her music. I think it's, it's really, really important. I was actually doing a lot of research on her, uh, just, just listening to a lot of stuff of hers, and um, I came across this piece, Clouds, and uh, I just fell in love with it from the first chord. It just kind of grabbed me right away. Um, and as you heard, it has those elements of uh, Debussy, Ravel, and uh, even when it opens up, has elements of Schumann, Rachmaninoff, Scriabin, uh, etc. So it's like a nice hodgepodge of genres fused into one piece. And obviously, Florence Price has her own musical language. So, um, so I hope to, in the future, to uh, to perform more of her music because I think it's really special. Uh, so now, moving on to the the second piece on the program, or pieces on the program. So I'll be playing uh, six pieces for piano by the Italian composer Altarino Respighi. And uh, if you guys were here for, or some of you were here for my last recital, I, pl I performed the Noturno, which, is, which I'm going to be playing again. And uh, I mentioned that I wanted to learn the rest of these pieces because I think they're just all so special and they, and they each have their own individual voice. So. A fun fact about these pieces, they're actually weren't, they actually were not written to be a, a suite of pieces per se. Uh, as a matter of fact, Respighi wrote them at different periods of his life throughout his, uh, actually mostly throughout his 20s, the Noturno being one of his uh, earliest uh, compositions for piano. And so he just compiled these pieces together and they just happened to be six, six pieces for piano. And they could be played in any number of pairs or, or whatever you want. 
Um, so, so the first piece is a waltz, sort of in a Parisian style. It sort of plays itself. It's very charming, very easy to listen to. The main theme comes back over and over, so you'll, you'll hopefully not get tired of it. But it's really, really quite charming. And then uh, the, the canone, the canon, uh, is, is uh, extremely different than the waltz. It's in a minor key. And uh, canon being uh, the right hand will play a thematic line or a melodic line, and then the left hand will follow that same line, sort of chasing each other. And then at, actually at the climax of that piece, they switch hands. So it's kind of interesting, very Bachian, uh, so to speak. And then the heart, I feel like the heart of the, uh, of the whole suite, I'm going to call it a suite, uh, is the uh, Noturno, uh, which is a gem of a, gem of a piece. And then, uh, the, oh, then we get this nice, charming minuet, sort of like the nice sorbet. It's, it's very, uh, a minuet in the cla very much in the classical style, uh, but with, with Respighi's own harmonic language. Uh, also very, very charming and uplifting, light. Um, and then the, the next piece is the, the studio or the etude. And uh, this one is by far the most challenging uh, on amongst the six, and it's very reminiscent of etudes by Chopin um, and Liszt, Szymanowski, etc. A lot of double notes and crossing hands and things like that, but it's also very, very, very fun to listen to. And then the last piece, is the Intermezzo Serenata, it's, uh, it's actually taken from his opera, Re Enzo, and I tried to find out where exactly in the opera that it took place, and I couldn't really find it, but I just... Uh, you know, he, he just transcribed a section of, of maybe one of the instrumental uh, interludes and made it into this piece. And it's, if I could summarize it, uh, it's very Puccini uh, in that last bit and sort of kind of ends like a wisp into the wind, right? So um, that's all I really want to say. These pieces are, are really great. They're all very individual and very, very much filled with character. So these are the six pieces by Respighi.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so I have one more for you guys, and this is the uh, the Takata by York Bowen, who's who is a British composer and lived around the same time period as all the, t the two other composers that we heard. And uh, what I can tell you is that, uh, well, this piece is, I would say, pretty popular amongst, amongst students. Um, it's, it's very flashy. It's very well written for the piano. He is a pianist, actually, York Bowen. They consider him the British Rachmaninoff, so it has some of those elements. But it's a real tour de force, and uh, I hope you like it. And uh, thank you so much for coming.